Tonight, we're going to talk about the emerging science of something called forensic botany and how it's getting results together, solving crime, unbiased and fair every single time. The first time most of us heard about the science was during the Casey Anthony trial. Then it was applied again late last year when it helped catch a suspected attempted rapist. News 6's Eric Von Anken shows us how it is being used more and more and how it works as an impartial investigative tool. This is the case of the state of Florida versus Casey Marie Anthony. In 2011, Casey Anthony went to trial for murdering her daughter, Kaylee. Anthony's attorneys called to the stand expert after expert, including a forensic botanist who testified little Kaylee's remains could have been in the woods for only weeks, not months, as prosecutors alleged, based on the plant life growing on and around the remains. Anthony was, you remember, ultimately found not guilty of murder, but it was really the first time in Florida that the science of forensic botany was spotlighted. What is a forensic botanist? Forensic botany is the application of uh, plant evidence to uh, uh, legal matters. Dr. Christopher Hardy is one of the country's leading forensic botanists and a professor at Millersville University in Pennsylvania. Not many people can lie about plant evidence. Late last year, the Orange County Sheriff's Office sent him plant evidence, samples from this pond, and using a microscope to compare the samples, he says he concluded this man, Patrick Howard, was in the same pond as the woman he's accused of attacking, leading to Howard's arrest for kidnapping and attempted rape. He passes me maybe two feet, he flips around, and he starts to choke me. There's no doubt that this is the same species on all the pieces of evidence. Here it is in the pond water in the upper left, the victim's shirt, the victim's pants. And forensic botany can tell if a body that was dumped had been poisoned because that poison will eke into the surrounding plants. And researchers are investigating if forensic botany can make it easier to find a body in the woods by looking for treetops that are different because of the nutrients going into the soil from the decomposing body. All I'm interested in is looking at the evidence when they give it to me. And if it's inconclusive, and that's my report. Um, if it exonerates a potential suspect, then that's in my report. And Dr. Hardy believes that forensic botany, when applied to solving crime, has to be impartial because any other forensic botanist, even one for the defense, would look at the same samples and would have to get the same conclusive result. He says it does not lie. In Orange County, Eric Von Anken getting results together. News 6.